So we were on spring break last week, but I hope you had a chance to see this. I did. And this couldn't have been more perfect. A local boy. Oh my goodness. Getting the Padres first ever no hitter. The only way it could have been better if it was at Petco Park. Bummer it wasn't. I know, but that's okay because you know what had happened and it's been 50 years, but a San Diego Padres pitcher has finally thrown a no hitter. Happened just Friday to the San Diego native we mentioned, Grossmont High grad Joe Musgrove. While Padres fans in San Diego had to watch it on television, uh, we're hearing from one Padres fan who got to see it in person. Jake Gariani shares that story. Heather and Carlo, considering the circumstances of our world right now, most of us Padre fans watch Joe Musgrove's no-hitter from right here on our couch. Some of us maybe even got up and ran around the house like a little kid. I'm not going to name any names. But for some lucky Friar fans, they were there that night, and their story is one well worth telling. Friday, April 9th, 2021. My wife and I, obviously huge Padre fans, used to be season ticket holders from 2014 to 2017 at, at Petco. Work has moved us out to Texas, so we're out here now. So any opportunity that we get, obviously, especially coming out of COVID, it was like, hey, here's our chance. Let's go watch the boys. Casey Withers and his wife, Tracy, went on a Friday night date that will go down in history. And I even joked in the car because uh, Mark Grant constantly is joking about uh, when the first hit of any game, Mark Grant always, well, well there goes the no hitter. It's that's like his running joke. And there goes the no hitter. Lead off double for Charlie. We're driving to the game, and I told my wife, wouldn't it be something else if tonight was the night that Mark Grant didn't say, well, there goes the no-hitter. And my wife just laughed, and we kind of laughed, like, oh, that ain't going to happen, right? Forget that. And who could blame Casey and Tracy? No-hitters in Padre lore have always been a joking matter. That is until April 9th of 2021. You could hear the crowd start to kind of get restless in the seventh inning, eighth inning. It started just getting a little more buzz. Every out meant something. The cheers were louder. And it's caught by Myers. The buzz was there at that point. Like everybody knew what was going on and people were on their feet. Dawn lines one caught. With one out to go, I took out my phone and it's kind of that conscious decision. Like, I hope I'm not jinxing this. And by now, you know the story. For over 52 years, it felt like Padre pitchers were always jinxed. As soon as the ball got hit to Kim and I saw it, like once it was fielded cleanly, I said, okay, just make the throw. This is routine, make the throw. You hear the glove pop and then instantly it was just a release of, you know, all the, all the jokes, all the frustration. The El Cajon native seemingly helped change the path of the Padres history on a Friday night in Texas. What a way to, to kind of make his mark and say, you know what, I'm not you, Darvish, I'm not Blake Snell, but I'm Joe Musgrove, and now there's nine O's in my name when you spell Joe. For the masses of us that were unable to attend the legendary game in person, Casey's Friar Pride and cell phone shot video helped give us a glimpse of what it was like. At the same time, Casey Withers' story is also one that needs to be told. I was in the Army from 2002 to 2008, um, enlisted post 9-11, was kind of what I guess what they call a Patriot enlistment. Served two tours in Iraq uh, before I got injured. For a veteran who served six years before being honorably discharged, it's the baseball stadiums that he calls his cathedral. I don't know that it helped me with any of my therapy or anything like PTSD wise or whatever, but um, I can tell you that when I'm when I'm at a baseball game, I'm at peace. It was also his time in the military that led to his current job. And a part of that occupational therapy was um, retraining to be right-handed. And in the process of that, they gave me a camera to work on some of my dexterity, which is how I became a professional photographer. After all, baseball is the ultimate storytelling game. You know, to, to witness something like this, like that's a once in a lifetime type thing. And those are the things that my wife and I are the most excited about as, as just humans, right? Like the once in a lifetime stuff that's special that you never forget that you get to do together. It was incredible. I'm Jake Gariani, News 8. You can see the moment he started celebrating because the camera's bouncing all around. And I love how much it meant to him. Yeah. You know, this was really a big deal for him. And it is for so many fans, but for so many reasons. That's why we love sports. You know, it, there's so many emotions involved in it. And when you're a San Diego native, when you've been a lifelong San Diego fan, yeah. those moments count. Because there's not a lot of There's going to be plenty. We're not <laughs> thinking like that anymore. we got a real team. <laughs> you're right about that. Yeah.